1,002, 1,003. Oh, hey friends. I didn't see you there. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. What's up guys, it's Kyle. If you're new to our channel, me and my wife both have lost 130 pounds each. Now although we had been overweight and dealt with emotional eating our whole life, a lot of our struggles growing up and during our weight loss were different. My weight loss journey started when I was given a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Now I know a lot of you out there, you may have just been diagnosed, you know someone who's diagnosed in your family, and if it's you yourself, you're thinking it's a death sentence. I'm here to tell you, it's not. There is hope. I did it simply, no fad diets, no surgery, and zero medication. Your doctor's gonna want you to go on medication. All of them will push their meds, that's what they do. I'm not telling anybody out there, I'm not giving you medical advice, I'm not telling you what you should do, I'm telling you what I did, and I'm telling you that there's a way. And I'm telling you that all that information that you're looking up online, how do I reverse my diabetes, you're gonna get so much information, it's gonna explode your head. I'm here to simplify it for you and to give you my experience with type 2 diabetes and how I went from five years ago near death with type 2 diabetes plus a lot of other uh, medical issues that I caused myself through overeating. Um, I've reversed that in, in a couple of years. I've completely reversed my type 2 diabetes. My blood work is perfect now and I was one of the worst cases. So uh, a bit about my childhood. Growing up, I was put on every fad diet since I was about eight or nine years old. Slim fast, the shake diets, the restrictions. I had a mother who had a hardcore eating disorder. I learned a lot of things about crash diets and fad diets way too young. Um, that set me on the path to being self-aware that I was a bigger kid. I was big my whole life. Um, in my teenage years and in my young early 20s, I started to just put on the weight, emotionally ate, binge ate, kept putting on the weight. Thought I was invincible for a long time. Always wanted to change my life, eat better, work out. Never found the key to get off that cycle of emotional eating. So the trigger though was when I had some infections that were not going away. Went to the doctors, diagnosed type 2 diabetes. Uh, you must go on medication right now. You must uh, take the shots. Um, I said, because I'm stubborn, I have been my whole life, I said, no, I'm not going to do that. Because I had already been researching. I already had a feeling that I had it because I was um, up all night going to the bathroom. Um, I had other signs like, like I said, disease, uh, little infections and stuff wouldn't heal. Um, so I had an idea already and I was already researching and there was not very much helpful information online seems like everybody jumps to the weight loss surgery or the medication i knew i could do it myself and how i did it was very simply me and my wife made a promise to each other we didn't know how we were going to get to our fitness goals or how to even get off our deathbed we knew we were going to do it though so we made a promise to each other to just start moving now at the size i was almost 400 pounds and my wife was almost 300 pounds at that size we couldn't move barely at all we basically could get halfway down the street before my legs would cramp up so bad that I had to stop walking. But that's what we did. Five minutes, it started five, ten minutes a day. Every single day, rain, sun, shine, snow, we got out there and we moved our bodies. You're going to find all sorts of advice online from friends, family, doctors, um, health and fitness gurus. They're gonna tell you what to do, and if they've never been there, they don't understand. I've been there. You don't have to give up everything you love. Your life is not over. There is hope for you. How I did it, move my body, portion my food. I didn't get rid of any food groups. I didn't do extreme low carb. Um, like I said, I didn't take the medications, no, no pills, uh, no, no weight loss surgery. And it, our bodies are amazing. I started to reverse my type 2 diabetes um, symptoms very, very quickly. The weight dropped off very quickly. Now when you're bigger, it will drop off faster. But I was amazed at how fast the type 2 diabetes symptoms reversed. And 
if you're if you can't move very much right now don't worry about the workouts the diet is key and there is no special diet you need to go on everyone's gonna tell you low carb the first thing you're gonna Google is how to reverse diabetes everyone's gonna tell you to get rid of carbohydrates everyone's gonna tell you to do low carb I'm telling you from my own experience from an emotional binge eater for years and years and years that will not work do not get rid of whole food groups it will take time but like I said once you start making those small lifestyle changes your sim your signs and symptoms will reverse quite fast you'll be pretty surprised at what happens our bodies yes we can do damage to them but they are amazing they will rebound and they will come back from places that you thought you know this time I've taken it too far our bodies can come back so I'm here to we wanted to give you this message as kind of an alternative to what's out there me and Nicole have been there we've each had our own struggles and we did it together but we're here to tell you that it's possible um, even if you don't believe in yourself at this moment just know that me and Nicole we believe in you so you have someone in me and someone in Nicole that believes in you from my experience you don't need to do anything drastic you don't need to get rid of all the foods you love you don't need to go on some crazy exercise program that you're going to get injured doing. Believe in yourself enough to take that first step. Literally, all it takes is one step. Once you decide and once you're ready to change your life, it starts with that one step. Me and Nicole, that first day, it was winter time and we took that step. It was cold. We were ready to get rid of the excuses and we put on our gear and we took that step outside. In knee deep snow. Didn't matter. We Need went anyway. Snow. We were ready. We said, and basically this is the advice I want to give to you guys. Do what you can do. Whatever your best is today, do that. So if you can only walk, like I could literally only walk five minutes without my legs cramping up so bad that I had to sit down or completely stop. That's what we did. We stopped every five minutes until That's what we, we got did. Yeah. until we got a little more stamina and a little better. Yeah. So do what you can do. Also, there's so much information out there, it can get really confusing and, and we know how it is. Move your body as much as you can. Don't put any pressure on yourself to do 30 minutes of cardio, two hours of weight training. It's not necessary. Move as much as you can and as far as diet, don't change any of the foods you're eating. Eat less of them and just a little bit less. And every day you're gonna feel a little bit better your symptoms are going to lessen a little bit every single day. The main point of this video is to give you guys encouragement and to let you know that anything is possible. I went against doctor's advice. If you need, by all means, if you need to save your life, go on the medication. If it's right, you know, close to the edge where, you know, you might not be coming back, by all means, consult your doctor. Do their plan for a bit, but then just know that you caused yourself to get in this position by the way you ate. The way you eat is also the key to get out of your position. Just know that me and Nicole believe in you. Even if you have nobody else around you in your family that's supportive or your parents are not supportive, your spouse is not supportive, me and Nicole are here for you. So leave a comment in the section below if you've been recently diagnosed with diabetes or you have it and you're, you're wanting to you know, get off of it and you have more questions, get off of your medications or you're wanting to change your life, Please leave your comments below and we definitely read all of them and we'll see them. And yeah, final message is it just takes that one step. When you're ready, your life can change in an instant. Me and Nicole were a mess physically and mentally when we suited up in our winter gear and stepped out in that, you know, three feet deep snow. We were a mess, but we changed, we made up our mind we were going to do something to change our life. We weren't going to go back into the old habits of over exercising and then under eating and then binge eating we said we're going to change our life and we're going to do it a different way a simple uh, logical common sense way move as much as we can and cut down on what we're eating and that's all it took friends and a few short years later i just had my blood work done very recently and all my levels are perfect I'm more than healthy in all my blood counts. So stay positive throughout it all. I know it can seem like it's, it's, it's a dire situation and you do have to make changes, but it's not the changes you think you have to make. It can be a lot more simple than that. So we love everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, 
check us out on Instagram, and like and subscribe this video, or else... It's the OG Fist of Doom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Bye, friend. Bye, guys. Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.